Thank you for all of the support on part one of the journey, man. Absolutely blown away. We've had over 20 likes and nearly 200 views in the first 24 hours. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Hello to all the new subscribers. And hopefully you will uh, enjoy the journey of the journeyman this year. Uh, we've created some new characters as well in Greg Rutherford, Old MacDonald, Christian Horner, Little at left back. And uh, no, it's, it's, it's going to be great. And hopefully you can join us. Along on the journey, um, just a heads up though, I will be streaming at 6 o'clock tonight UK time uh, with the Hexagon Challenge, so part 2 of the Hexagon Challenge will be streamed at 6 o'clock, so it would be great if you could come along to that, we'll be streaming for about an hour, but do not worry if you miss it because the video will come out straight afterwards as well, so hopefully you will enjoy that. So, um, yeah, since last episode, we've done alright. I guess, uh, and you know, we're, after three games, we're about where you'd expect, and we've got two games today, one against Kev's old team, and one against a complete unknown, so without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 2 of Season 1 of The Journeyman with Blythe Spartans. And today we have two games in the Vanarama North, one against Gainsborough Trinity and the other one against North Ferriby Town or United I think it is actually. Um, so yeah, since the last episode we will have a little look at what we've been up to. Pardon me. Um... Obviously, we beat Alfred in 3-2 amazingly in that first episode. It was the perfect match for me um, to, to have on camera, and it was just... You, you couldn't make it up. But then we crashed back down to earth with a 2-0 defeat to York, who are, you know, have had two consecutive relegations from League 2 and the Conference... Uh, well, National League, I should say. And they're going to be a strong contender this year. So I wasn't too worried about that result. And then we had a 1-1 draw against Tamworth. We were 1-0 up through a Dan Maguire goal. But Callum Powell scored in the second half to cancel us out. So that means in the league table after three games, we are about where you'd expect. Mid-table, 12th position um, on four points from three games. Which I would have took if you'd offered me that at the start of the season. There's no point in looking at squad performances and stuff like that, but we will have a look at the transfer centre. I am currently in negotiations with uh, Ben Unsworth. If we have a look at his report, um, why are we signing him? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest with you. He's only 43. Hmm. Maybe I, maybe I haven't put in an offer because I, I have got the director of football set. This guy I definitely made an offer for sixty-one, um, sort of recommendation from the analyst. That's something new this year that we're just going to have to get used to. Oh, I must be doing something wrong. The police are coming to get us. Um, how rude! How rude of them. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so current ability three star potentially. Uh, four and a half star when he comes in, and same with potential. He's 27 year old Warren Burrell. Uh, he's at Harrogate at the moment. He's had a couple of seasons in this league, so he's got experience, and he's he's actually played football league football before. So, you know, he could be a decent one at centre mid. And because we play th with three centre mids, it would be a good position to strengthen. We have. Already brought a couple of players in though, Ryan Meadows being one of them, 22 years old. Uh, he's got a lot of potential, um, but only a two-star current ability. We'll try and phase him into the team soon, but he's come in from uh, Sheffield Wednesday on a free transfer. He's he's had a year out of football, so he's going to take a while to get match fit uh, before we bring him in. And we've also brought in Ian Carlo Poveda um, on loan, 17 years old, from Manchester City. Um, Man City signed him from Barcelona, in fact, or was it Brentford? Can't really tell, but at some stage in his career, he was at Barcelona, and uh, he's been at uh, Brentford as well, uh, and at Man City, and now he's on loan at us. He's played one game, 6.7. We don't really play with an attack midfielder, but it gives us an option off the bench if we are behind in a game. So, uh, let's have a look. At the team for today, then we have set uh, the the nicknames up, and hopefully now 
you're not seeing my face, you're seeing um, my screen thing, I don't know, team sheet graphic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so hopefully I'll put this in to the episode this time, I forgot yesterday. Anyway, Old MacDonald will start and go with Andrew Cartwright, Nathan Buddle, Ryan Hutchinson, uh, Ryan Hutchinson and Michael Little at left back. We've then got Christian Orner, Sean Reed, and Dale Hobson in the middle of the park with Jarrett Rivers and Adam Wrightson behind Dan Maguire up front. So let us know what you think of this team sheet graphic. Uh, for the second game, I think we'll just go with the normal, um, normal graphic and we'll see how it goes. But let's get into the match. Uh, I haven't actually had time to have a look at the poll to see which one, so I think we're just going to go with whatever loads, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks like it... I don't know what it's going to be, to be honest with you, but there's the team sheets again, if you didn't see it the first time, if you didn't catch it. Um, but it should be, should be good. I'm just going to see... No, I was trying to see if there was any sound from the pundits, but there wasn't. Um, talk to the team nobody expects us to get a result that worked well in the first game then we'll hand over to the assistant so let's get into the match it is uh, possibly going to be 3D uh, I'm really not sure no 2D classic apparently so there we go um, yeah that's a, a bit of a glitch isn't it hmm hopefully that will come up at some point but we have got the match stats and the, the league table up on the screen now and uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be good. So that's into the middle. It's away. Unfortunately for them, he has Gordon. I'm assuming <laughs> we're not the blue ones. Williams into the middle. Evans and Wuffler, and now Davy on the ball. Oof, big deflection wide. Oh, I'm a bit nervous about this game. Greg Rutherford hasn't been the same player since the first match. Unfortunately, he did get injured in the second match we played. So. You know, maybe he's coming back from that, but hopefully he can come on today and, and show you lot what he's capable of. He has Davy on the ball, that's well wide. But Gainsborough have been on our case so far. Goodness me, look how many playoff positions there is. Surely that's not right. Surely it's not. Williams into the middle, it's away by Little. Now onto Davy, it does look like it's in slow motion. Uh, when they're not on the ball, but that just went wide and well we live to fight another day here But look at those stats four shots without reply so far luckily they've had none on target as of yet 25 minutes into the game. We really want to get it get into this here and Create a few chances Dan Maguire on a 6.5 not performing yet again He's scored in two of the three matches so far, but he's not performed well um, Gordon into the middle, read away. He has Williams now to Porter. Really does feel like slow motion. He has a Woofoller into the middle, and Davy puts it in the back of the net, and it's 1 0. That's really disappointing. Mm. Let's just increase that speed slightly. Old MacDonald away. He has Gordon. That's forward to Simmons. Oh, good save by Old MacDonald there. Uh, it is on very fast. Between highlights, here's Williams into the middle and Jarman and Wuffle our way. But now it feels a little bit quick. I don't know. Let us know what you think down in the comments of the speed. Did you prefer the speed before? Do you prefer it now? That is the question. I might change it back before the end of the match if it annoys us. But there's half time. We're 1 0 down. That's really, really not good. And we're not even looking in it at the moment, to be quite honest with you. Um. We're going to tell them that we're far from pleased, and hopefully they'll look fired up, and they do. But it's seven, seven shots to nil at the moment, so we're going to have to change something here. Hobson's not having a great game. Um, I think we move Hobson there. We do this, and we move him off for Poveda, and we'll play Poveda as an advanced player maker on attack. Get the young boy involved. We're going to go attacking at the start of this second half and really really try and win this game come on Ooh, highlight straight from the second half here's Christian Orner now to Paveda to Reed. Oh, Porter to Williams 
to Jacqueline. That's forward. Can Cartwright get there? He can. Cartwright back to old MacDonald. That's away. Here's Evans. Now Jarman. Good tackle by Reed. Here's Paveda. Now to Maguire. Come on. Dan Maguire for to Paveda. And he puts it in the back of the net. 44 seconds after coming on. I tell you what, super subs are what this year. Paveda to Maguire. Puts it through. And Paveda volleys it into the top corner. What a start to his YouTube career there. Paveda with the free kick. Didn't do anything with it, unfortunately. Darlington top of the table at the moment. Obviously, they were the, the next closest team. Uh, so, I could have been to starting at them if Blythe didn't get promoted last season. But here's Simmons, bottle away. Now Richards to Wuffala. And that's gone wide. Here's Buddle. Hmm... Now to Rivers, to Paveda, to Maguire. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get Greg Rutherford on soon. I think that's got to be the priority. We've got to get another striker in the squad uh, that's capable of scoring goals. Here's Maguire. Four to Paveda. Ooh, I was going to say, maybe he's the answer to our goal problems. Hold on a second. That was disallowed. I'm a complete idiot. This was disallowed. Let's watch it again. I am a complete idiot. I didn't notice that at the time. Wuffle at the Davy. Why was that off? But the goal won't stand. He wasn't offside, surely. Can we can we analyse this? Come on. Let's analyse this, everybody. Mm, he, he, I, I guess the ball. He is ahead of the ball, so he was offside. What a cracking decision that was. I didn't even think it had a chance of being offside, which is why um, I didn't know it was. So how do we get back to live? Um, live, there we go. So let's make uh, a change here. We're 1-0 up here. And, hmm, and now I know that we're not uh, actually... <laughs> We're not actually drawn in this game anymore. I think we're going to bring on uh, Dale on that left-hand side. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, and we're going to go down to control here. Uh, and flexible. We'll go for that for the moment. And then we'll bring Rutherford on in about 10 minutes. See if we can get a, a second goal to secure our position. Here's Maguire. That's away. Now here's Simmons. Little on the ball. Little forward to Maguire. That's offside, I think. Yeah, he's just not playing well, Maguire, today, unfortunately. And I think it's uh, maybe time to, to bring him off. Here's Hutchinson. That's forward to Paveda now. Paveda on the ball. Now to Little. Mm. Oh, no. Here's Warsfold. Oh, and it is 1 1 now. That's annoying. Oh, go over the top there. It was a good ball. And then Warsfold with the finish. Old MacDonald couldn't do anything there, unfortunately. Um, right then, it's 68 minutes gone. We're going to bring on the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Greg Rutherford. Uh, and he's going to be support. And we might move back to attacking very, very soon, depending on... Uh, if we create any chances here doesn't look like we are going to so we are going to go attacking and we're going to move these boys forward again look at me being tactical I wasn't tactical for any of uh, FM17 pretty much and now we've, we've tinkered a lot in the first two matches can we be the tactical genius once again Old MacDonald with the goal kick Mm, it's bouncing about a bit and we've lost the 50-50 there. Simmons to Warsfold and that's just wide. Good pressure from MacDonald covering his near post there. 80 minutes gone. Can we get a late goal here? I know a draw would be brilliant, but we'd certainly love to win. Rivers to mm, to away. Simmons Gartner now to Warsfold. Oh, we're going to be in trouble here. Davey into the middle and Williams puts it in the back of the net. Ah, oh. right at the death, Davy with the the cross and unmarked Williams in the middle gets the gets the goal. That's probably going to win this game. 
what do we do here? That is the question. Team instructions. We'll pump the ball into the box. We'll hit early crosses. We'll be a bit more expressive with more direct passing uh, and get stuck in. And hopefully this will help us get back into the game. Here. Yeah. Come on. We've got two minutes to go. Can we see a Greg Rutherford late spectacular here? Here's Simmons. Now to Warsfold. And now Williams just over the bar. That could have sealed it. But, I mean, looking at the stats, this is a deserved result for Gainsborough Trinity. Dale, can we have a final chance? It's into the middle, but it's away. And Buddle <sighs> bottles it. Three seconds left, full time, and we have been defeated 2-1. That's a really annoying result. Um, he's surprised at the result. He expected a close game with the most likely win has been Blythe. So for Gainsborough to win is really something. Hmm. We'll just say that. We'll, we'll try and keep spirits high. You know, usually I would rollock them at, at full time if we lost in FM 17, but... We'll try and keep the morale high. Dynamics is going to play a much bigger part this year, so we don't want to be upsetting people. But we're down to 15th as it stands, which isn't good. We want to get back on track, and hopefully we can do that against the mighty... Who is it again? North Ferriby United. Something like that. Here we are then for the North Ferriby United match. I don't know how that just came up there. We have switched a formation to the four... 2-3-1, just for this game we'll get Paveda his first start, we're playing Greg Rutherford up front as well and we also have the new signing Warren Burrell on the bench so hopefully he can come in at some point um, and, and we can see what he's capable of, uh, so that means Robbie Dale drops to the reserves list but that's just the nature of having five subs unfortunately um, I did have a look at the poll in between matches and well Surprisingly, up to this point, 68% of people voted for 3D. So that is what the people voted for. That is what I shall go for in this match. Um, and you can let us know down in the comments if you've got a particular problem with it. Um, so we'll go with that for the moment. Uh, one second. Um, so that's that. Uh, oh, we play North Ferriby Town. I don't know where they are in the league. But we are the favourites, apparently, so... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's give the, the fans a, a performance to cheer for. Uh, I say aye to that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the league table doesn't load straight away as we come into the match. But should load soon as we get uh, past this first highlight, so... No, I'm surprised that you guys voted for 3D. It's a, it's a very new thing, really. Here's Paveda, now to Hobson. Hobson with a beautiful shot. And we might actually turn this down very slightly now that we're actually watching the highlights. Skelton away. Now here's Sidey. Sidey, come on. What's he doing? <laughs> Emerton to Dixon now. That's forward to Sidey. This just feels like slow motion now. This is the problem. I wish you could have a setting in between the two that we had. Here's Wrightson now. Wrightson on the ball. That's to Rivers. Come on. I was disappointing. Here's Christian Horner on the ball. Now to Cartwright. To Paveda. Ooh. Could be a yellow card here for Paveda. That was, that was naughty. And it is. Yellow card. First of the game. Certainly not first of the series. But uh, where are North Ferriby Town? They are United, I should say. They are currently in 13th place. I'm really offending North Ferriby because I'm getting the clubs mixed up. It's like saying Sheffield Wednesday for Sheffield United. Here's Paveda, though. Into the middle and Rutherford with a header. And it's off the line by Hume. Unbelievable. Here's Hobson. Now to Christian Horner. Gets it wide to Rivers. Still on side. Plays it all the way back. That's forward to Rivers. Horner now. Come on, get it away. Uh, that was just too much dilly-dally in there. We should have got into the box. Hold on, why are they wing-backs? I'm, I'm sure they're not wing-backs. Uh, no, 
Maybe another glitch there then. Ah, right, that's because I'm looking at the wrong team. Hobson is injured, so that brings in Warren Burrell for his debut. Uh, not probably the way he expected. We'll go box to box because I'm not really sure what the Carello does or whatever it is. Carello. I don't know, it's Italian, I think. He has little to Pervader. It might be Spanish, I'm really not sure. Hutchinson, that's forward. And just long ball. Good old Tony Pula style here. Hutchinson. And now Wrightson. Wrightson into the middle. It's away. Ho corner now to Paveda. To Rivers. Can he get wide? Oh, he can't. It's away. Disappointing. He has Cartwright. Now to Burrell. Now to Wrightson. Come on, son. Wrightson down this left-hand side. Into the middle. And Rutherford. Oh! I think he must have hit the post. That was really, really close. I thought it was in. Mm, we wanted Greg, Greg Rutherford to score there, but 25 minutes into the game, not much happening here. We have had a fair few chances. Uh, we've had that yellow card as well for Paveda, uh, but he does look good, that, that Paveda. I'm quite happy with that one. He has Fry with a free kick, and it's gone over the bar, even though we didn't see any of that. Uh, probably just a glitch. Oh, River's injured now. Two injuries in the first 30 minutes, that's ridiculous. Um, hmm. I'll have to bring Reed on. Can he play as a striker? He can. I'm going to go for a 4 3 1 2 now. Uh, dear me. Right, so he can play. Oh, he can't really play there, can he? Can them two swap round? No. Oh, why does he have to be so awkward? Can he play in midfield a bit better? No. Right, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll play him as a poacher. Surely if he gets a chance, he'll bury it. And later in the game, we'll swap him for Maguire anyway. But I'm now worried that we're going to get another... Um, what's happened here? Oh, I thought it was going to crash. Um... I am worried that we're going to get another injury too in 30 minutes really isn't good. I hope it's not something to do with training. It's something we haven't had a look at yet. But here's Paveda on the ball and good save by Durant. I am struggling to see the ball actually. I have read a lot of people are struggling with it uh, at the moment. So it's just going to be something to get used to as we're... This is the first time I've ever used the 3D match engine <clears throat> for a full match. So... Here's Bateson with a chance and a good save. Oh, it wasn't a save. It went wide. I thought it was a good save by old MacDonald there, but it wasn't. 38 minutes gone. Um, still nil-nil here uh, in Blythe. I don't know what their football stadium's called. Something I probably should know as the manager of the club. But, uh, yeah, we're not exploiting the middle a lot. We are going down the right and left-hand sides a lot. Um, but that is half time and I think we've been the better team I think we're unlucky to only be nil nil we'll go into the team talk uh, and we will be assertive with them and tell them that we're far from pleased he seemed to lose confidence so we'll hand over to the assistant and try to get him good but Reed's lost some confidence but I guess that's because he's only been on for a little bit here's Cartwright on the ball to uh, Horner now to Paveda into the middle now to Reed. Blocked. Well, it wasn't blocked. I, I don't know what happened there. It must have hit off one of our players because surely he wouldn't shoot that badly. But Darlington down to 10th. They were top of the league in the last uh, match. So it just shows you how close things are. And if we can get a couple of victories on the bounce, um, then we would be right back up there. We are. Oh, there, there's a highlight though. Oh, well, at least I thought there was. Let's pause it there, and we're gonna gonna bring uh, Harry Maguire on. Oh, no, Harry Maguire, Dan Maguire on up front to partner his good friend, Mr. Greg Rutherford, and hopefully we can see something happen here. That would be really, really good if we could. Uh, Sixty-six minutes gone. Come on, twenty minutes to go. Can we find a winner here? Uh, Rutherford not having the best of games. Burrell not. Very good on his debut. We we just haven't had any standout performances. Here's Cartwright though to Rutherford to Paveda to Burrell now on his debut. Burrell with the ball. Come on, get it forward. He can to Dan Maguire into the middle now and 
Well, it's a corner. I don't really know what the keeper did there. But it is a corner. Christian Horner into the middle. Oh, it's just over the bar. It's another corner, though. Who's going to take it this time? Christian Horner into the middle. And it's away. That was disappointing. But we have got a throw. End of highlight. 75 minutes gone. Little to Maguire. Dan Maguire with a shot. Dan Maguire on the ball again. Into the middle. And it's away. I just don't think we're going to do it, are we? It's been a bit of a disappointing episode here. Mm. 76 minutes gone. Got 15 minutes left to try and make something happen. Oh, we've got a yeah, got a weird glitch there. But into the tactics screen, we are going to go attacking and fluid for this last 10 minutes, just to try and force an opening here. Um, we're going to go into team instructions now. We're going to hit early crosses, pump that ball into the box, and we're going to be a bit more direct about things and really try and win this game. I think we deserve at least one victory this episode. I think we played well against Gainsborough. For large parts of it, we kind of fell apart at the end, and you know we've had the best chances in this game, although it is a highlight for North Ferriby now. And that's forward to Russell to Sadi, and it's a good save by Old MacDonald. Solid save. He has little. Now to Christian Horner. It's away. Hutchinson to Buddle. It's away. Mm, Gray now to Skelton. Cartwright gets to the ball. Back to Old MacDonald. Come on. Can we get this here? Old MacDonald away. Loops the ball upfield. What a kick that was. Rutherford on to Maguire and a great save there. It wasn't a save. It just, It's trippy. I thought that was a save. <laughs> this is why I use 2D camera. Um, but 90 minutes have gone. It looks like it's going to be a ball draw, unfortunately. Brogan, and that's away. Oh, full time. Nil nil. You know, we'll take it. It's a point, I guess. Uh, we could have easily lost that game, but probably should have won it. Uh, we'll tell them that it was simply not good enough. Unfortunately, a couple of injuries there. Hopefully nothing too serious um, for Rivers and Hobson. Hobson particularly has been very, very good so far. So we'll, we will just check that before we round off the episode. Hobson is injured for four to five weeks. That's... Not good. Jarrett Richards is out for two to three weeks. That's really, really annoying. When are we going to come back then? I think um, we shall come back for this little period here. Chorley and the FA Cup second qualifying round. I think that will be really, really interesting in the next episode. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It honestly really does mean the world to me. If we could hit 20 likes again on this video, that would mean the absolute world. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.